B2B and Ahmed Dati unveil agenda for a new Nigeria ahead of 2023 presidential election. Watch. I might have come here a little bit late. It was not deliberate. It was because of the circumstances that found allow me so that you can listen to me. So for me, I thank all of you, wonderful people. As I've always said, and you maintain that, and that you are not running for president. You are running for president through us. Our job is to take the power from those who have it and give it back to you. When he was speaking, I have nothing to add except to reemphasize what he said. When he was speaking, he did say what I've always said. We have a country called Nigeria, but we don't have Nigerians. What we want to do is to create Nigerians. And the only way to create Nigerians is that we must create, make people to have hope in Nigeria, and the only way to have faith in Nigeria, and the only way to have faith in Nigeria is that there's hope in Nigeria. You're not asking for too much. This is a great, a great country. God created this country, gave it everything that can make a country great. The only thing that is lacking is a simple thing called leadership. And that is what we intend to provide. We're not trying to do something else. That is what Daddy and I was to provide. Leadership. And I told you, we're not looking for anything. He is not, he doesn't want to be vice president of Nigeria, I can tell you. If there's anybody who is reluctant to vice president of Nigeria, he is one. But I asked him, can you look at your children and ask yourself, which society do you want them to live in the future? If you cannot build that future, who will build it for them? Are they going to be with them anarchy? No. That is why we decided to get involved. And I assure you, and I want you to take note, like I always said, don't think that with the will of the Almighty God that will succeed. Let none of you, I say it every day when I have opportunity, don't think that once we succeed, your job has stopped. That is when you will begin your job. Because beyond 2023, we will no longer allow drivers that don't know where we are going. We will not allow him to continue. He will go down and we put another driver to continue. Because what we have now and what is happening in Nigeria is that you don't know where you're going. The driver doesn't know where the vehicle is going. So every road leads us there. But we don't want to worry. All we say is 2023, 
onwards, we will no longer allow that situation. For now, we will manage it to the end. And I'll give you an example why I say so. On two occasions, we have a country where 100 million people live in poverty. Where we have 33% unemployment. By the time you want you to do unemployment, because when we talk about unemployment, these are the people who don't have a job. If you look at the unemployment, you're talking about 60%. The number of people that are supposed to be working in Nigeria, being a country in quote of 200 million people, is supposed to be 120 million. 60% of your population are supposed to be productive. But as I speak to you, only about 47 million Nigerians are working. So 73 million Nigerians are not doing anything. We live in a country where over 15 million of our young people are out of school. Today, the global average for tertiary institution intake is 38%. In the Western world, it's over 50%. In Nigeria, it is 9%, not even, not even up to a quarter of the global average, and yet, they are not in school. We just sang, Arise, O compatriots, Nigeria's call obey, and you are obeying. You are obedient. Here is, here is another catch. Nigeria's call obey. Nigeria's call obey. And he's answering. Nigeria's call, and he's answering. <laughs> Fellow compatriots, in the context of this particular event, which is not a political rally, it's a conference, we have no resource as a nation than our youth. We are here because of you. The youth have fought and won every battle in history as they watch it attributed to their leaders. The youth have developed every country in this planet and again they watch it attributed to their leaders. Our party happens to be the only party mentioned in our national anthem. That is not by accident, it is by providence. The labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. And here is another catch. The labor of our youth present shall never be in vain. What you do now and beyond shall continue to count. What you do now and beyond is what will make Nigeria a great country. What you do now and beyond is that which will unite and bring an end to the sorrow and misery in the land. Again, it is stated in the second stanza, guide our youth the truth to know.
And this is what we stand for. This is what we've been doing all our lives. I joined a capable leader who brought a state from number 24 to number one in education ranking. We are guiding our youth the truth to know by following this leader. It is the legitimate ambition of our great party to develop education in Nigeria and we are guiding our youth the truth to know. Personally, to date, I have been instrumental in one way or another in the education of at least 11,000 people. It remains my dream that for the remaining days I have to live, I and my leader and my party to educate at least 110 million Nigerians. We are guiding our youth the truth to know. I, I joined this party. I sided with my leader because of Nigeria. Below that, it is because of our national unity. And below that is because we want to develop our youth. We are in the business of educating ourselves. I was asked, what have we been doing wrong? And I humbly replied, we have been electing the wrong leaders. In that process of electing the wrong leaders, our beloved Nigerian youth have been by design and policy, by commitment of resources, forcefully confused, distracted, deprived, disunited. Our youth were also undereducated. Our youth remain malnourished and maltreated. This is what we are here to change. Our youth have been underestimated. Labour Party, His Excellency Peter Obi, my humble self, we are here to restore your honour. Give you back the dignity taken away from you. Give you back the measure of deserved humanity. We want to give you education and discipline. We want to promote understanding and unity. And I want to draw our attention accordingly. Because when it comes to those events, when the time reaches, they make you feel who your enemy is not. Fellow Nigerians, our beloved youth, the other faith is not your enemy. It's your friend. It's your partner in this nation building. My boss said we have Nigeria. What we haven't done yet, what we're committing our, ourselves to do is to build Nigerians. We are going to build Nigerians. The other divide is not your enemy. The other divide is your friend and partner and co-inhabitant in what Nigeria is today. Electing a good leader is for all intent and purpose. Bringing prosperity, putting money in your pockets, in your bank accounts. 
Electing a good leader is bringing security to your doorstep. Electing a good leader is bringing education to your head, health to your body, and those of your beloved ones. We are changing it away from electing a leader is he who will walk away to go and provide security for themselves alone, prosperity for themselves alone, education and healthcare for themselves alone. The time has come to end that. The time has come for Labour Party to bring prosperity and peace to Nigeria. I wish to thank the organizers of this event. I wish to thank my leadership in the Labour Party. Above all, I wish to thank our able leader who was given by Almighty Allah the vision, the strength, and the capacity to take the decision that he took. As it stands now, Nigeria is, Nigerian political terrain is yet to fully grasp what has hit it. What has hit the Nigerian political terrain is a wind of change. What has hit the Nigerian political terrain is that wind of reality that is bringing the positive change that we have been asking for so long. Your Excellency, let me quickly clarify this. You say that when pregnant women give birth in your facilities, they get 500 naira. Is that correct? 500 naira, yes. Yes, at the backpack. What is the 500 the naira for, sir? Free delivery. They give you 500 naira to. to it, it could be for anything. Are you asking a poor woman what she'll do with 500 naira? Some people don't have it. 